looming famine rampant disease. Deadly air strikes. This is the daily reality for the residents of Yemen suffering a staggering humanitarian crisis driven by a fierce civil war. United Nations experts have warned that some of the actions carried out by the warring parties, the Saudi-led coalition and the Iran-backed Houthi rebels could amount to crimes against humanity because of their systematic and widespread execution. The calls for accountability have been heightened since a Saudi-led coalition tightened a blockade of sea, air and land ports earlier this month after a missile fired by Houthi rebels was intercepted near the Saudi capital. The blockade has since been loosened but it is still cutting civilians off from desperately needed humanitarian aid and food. Which aspects of the war could amount to crimes against humanity? And what, if anything, can be done to hold the perpetrators accountable? Many Yemenis are starving as a direct result of the war, which has inflated food prices, leaving most unable to afford the supplies. Since Saudi Arabia joined an offensive against the Houthi rebels in 2015, an estimated 17 million people in Yemen have been classified by the United Nations as food insecure. Put simply, that means they do not have reliable access to food and are at risk of hunger. Even before the latest blockade, Yemen was on the brink of famine. All ports under healthy control are still blockaded, and the majority of food that enters the country comes through these ports. The Famine Early Warning Systems Network a monitoring group founded by the United States Agency for International Development, warned Tuesday that in three to four months, much of Yemen will be suffering from famine. And the Houthis, too, have been accused of blocking food supplies in the past, though on a smaller scale. On Wednesday, Saudi Arabia, under intense pressure, announced plans to reopen the port of al Hudaydah a major lifeline for residents of Houthi-controlled areas and to reopen the airport in Sana'a, the capital, to United Nations aid planes. Famine can amount to a crime against humanity if food restrictions are used as a weapon of war, according to United Nations officials. It is an international crime to intentionally block access to food, food aid and to destroy production of food, the United Nations Special Rapporteur on the Right to Food. Hilal Elver, told journalists in October, speaking generally on the topic. Such acts are crimes against humanity, or war crimes. The war has also decimated the health care sector. Destroyed infrastructure has left many without clean drinking water and set off a cholera epidemic. It was the largest single-year outbreak of the disease ever recorded. Dozens of hospitals were intentionally targeted, according to a report from Save the Children, by Houthi rebels and the Saudi-led coalition. The cholera outbreak has disproportionately affected areas controlled by the Houthis, in part because more public water systems, hospitals and residential areas have been destroyed there, forcing people into crowded and unsanitary conditions. And yet with healthcare more important than ever, Dozens of hospitals have been intentionally targeted by both Houthi rebels and the Saudi-led coalition, according to a report from Save the Children.